Hello everyone, dear friends, welcome back for another ASMR Geography and for today we're gonna explore Spain, highlight its regions and we're gonna discover the best known facts for each but first let's start with general facts about Spain when we say Spain we think about Corita de Toros or bullfighting, tapas, flamenco, la tomatina, Ibiza, paella, Spanish football, Ibiza or Sagrada Familia. These are some very known words, very, very famous or known words in the world that are defining Spain but uh, you may want to know that Spain is the second largest second largest country in Union, Union after France so in UE The Spanish Empire is the first global empire in history. The Spanish made the first attempt to conquer the regions and make colonies around the globe. So this is the true definition of an empire. Spanish is the world's second most spoken language. So second spoken language the first novel is attributed to a Spanish author Don Quixote written in 1605 1605 was the world first modern novel and was written the Spanish author Miguel de Cervantes. Miguel de Cervantes. In Madrid stands El Restaurante Botín, the oldest restaurant in the world, opened in 1720. Christopher Columbus was the first person to discover America and initiated the Spanish colonization in the New World in 1492. 1492. The Spanish Empire is also what the Spanish is the second. It's Seville. It's right here. I'm going to 
so it's Sevilla in Spain in Seville in in English so the capital it's Seville well this is known as land of castles so land of castles why because this province is as the highest concentration of fortresses and castles in the entire Europe. Some of the most beautiful are Castillo de la Guardia and Castillo de la Motta. Andalusia is renowned for its olive oil and fresh Mediterranean seafood. So we have seafood. produce over half of the world's olive oil olive oil some 1.5 million tons annually here Seville it's the final burial place for explorer Christopher Columbus so here it's buried inside Ferdinand Magellan, the explorer, departed from Seville for the first circumnavigation of the earth. And Seville, it's the birthplace of Tapas. Tapas. Okay, and another cool fact is that flamenco has its roots also. In Seville, because flamenco is a new Andalusian art form of associating music, dancing, and singing. These are the facts about Seville, of pop Andalusia. Now, um, let's move next. In the north, we're gonna talk about this region. Aragon. I'm gonna drop the gun to Aragon. Here we have a border with France.
Asturias is renowned for its dairy products, particularly milk cheese and yogurts, and has earned the nickname by base of quesos. That means the base of cheese, the land of cheese. So we have land of cheese. Oviedo is the capital of Asturias and perhaps best known for its cedar. So we have cedar and an important university city is Oviedo and around 10% of its populations are students. So they have uh, educational roots here. And these artifacts about Asturias. All right. Now, our next, there are some islands here in uh, Mediterranean Sea. The islands are the Balearic Islands, and there are four main islands and one small tiny little islands. These are the Balearic Islands. Okay, I think I should zoom in. Good. Let's draw the contour. Here it's Pisa Formentera. Mallorca, which is the largest one. And it holds the capital. And Minorca. Okay, what about this? Uh, the capital is Palma de Mallorca here. Yeah. There are four main islands, only five islands Ma Mallorca, Minorca, Ibiza, Formentera, and Caparel. Caparel is very, very small here. Yeah. And a total of 151 very small islands. 151. Small islands. Mallorca is the largest island in the Balearics, and it's known for its seemingly endless sandy beach, scenic coastline, and wide variety of countryside. Rafael Nadal, the famous tennis man, comes from. Balearic Islands. Mm. So we have here Rafael Nadal. Britain ruled Menorca, which is here. Yeah, Britain ruled Menorca for the most of the 18th century. Okay, another cool fact about Mallorca is that it has an amazing range of cave systems underground with the most impressive being the coves del Draco or Cueva del Draco on the east coast of the island. I visited that Cueva del Draco. It's an underground cave filled off with underground lakes and it's quite beneath a city. It's very, very amazing. These were the facts about Mallorca. Now let's move to the next one. And uh, we're gonna talk about Basque country. País Basco. Basque country. It's in the north. A very small compared region. It's País Pasco. The capital is Vitoria Castells. Yeah, this one. This is the capital. It's the name of the Basque language and it's Europe's oldest living language. I will write it here. Euskera. Euskera. 
best cuisine involves seafood and includes specialties such as bouillon base, fish stew and fresh tuna with garlic tomatoes and spice. Pelota, which means, which means in Spain, ball is the Basque national sport. So, pelota. It's like cross between handball and squash. One of the artists, Pablo Picasso, most famous pieces is a mural titled Guernica, which he painted in response to a bombing of the area of the Basque country, known for that name. It's thought that the Basque may hold the oldest ethnic group in Europe, and Bilbao is one of the largest cultural and economic centers in north of Spain. Bilbao is the biggest city. Ikea. It's not the capital, but it's also the biggest city. These artifacts about Basque country. Now, time to move next, but, but because we don't have enough space in near the Africa are the Canary Island, but I put them here to be in the frame. I draw them over to France. Canary Islands are some remote islands, archipelago of the Spanish, Spanish, and let's talk about the facts. Um, this were okay, very hard. I'm gonna use the onion to highlight it. The capital is. Las Palmas and Santa Cruz. Okay. The Canary Islands. Island Canarias. The Canary Islands were created by a series of volcanic eruptions in millions of years ago. And uh, Gran Canaria is also a complete volcanic island, so we have volcanoes. Volcanoes. Swimming with turtles in Tenerife is certainly an unforgettable experience. Diver, my snorkels might just be lucky enough to spot some great sea turtles. The Canary Islands were inhabited before the human arrived. The Canary Islands were inhabited by giant lizards. Giant lizards. Here and here. The islands. The archipelago is just 100 kilometers or 62 miles from the African continent, which is in this, on this map, so we have Africa. Good, these are the facts about Canarian Islands. Now, let's move next, and we're gonna stay in the north again. Another small region is Cantabria. Drop the control. Oh. Okay. Cantabria, it's a uh, capital, it's Santander. Here, in the north. Cantabria, or Cantabria, is famous for its abundance of cave with prehistoric drawings. So we have cave. Cantabria has the highest density of caves with ancient paintings. They're around 6,500 caves. God, they're long. Well, let's talk about a ghost island near Santander here. 
hospital where infected people were isolated and simply left to die there on the remote island and that's called now or has the nickname Ghost Island through the centuries and there has been named the Liverpool of Spain as its port became a crossroad of products imported from the colonies and traded with the new world so these are the facts about Cantabria or Cantabria okay now let's move to the next in our list it's a huge region one of the largest I think it's the largest it's Castilla y León this one with pink is a characteristic of the region it's made out of sheep milk cheese that is both firm and creamy creamy and here we have wines there is a lot of wine production in Castilla la Mancha Spain it's the third the third wine producer in the world wine producer 
La Rioja is La Craña. Yeah. Rioja is home to more than 600 wineries. So we have 600 wineries. And TLs 250 million liters of wine annually. This is the heart of winemaking. It's birthplace of the first written words in Spanish language. Logroño was an old settlement, first of the Romans under the name of Parilla, a commercial port, and then of a Celt. These artifacts of La Rioja, so we have wine Parisia. Okay, now we're gonna move next nearby. We're gonna have Navarra. Navarra or Navarre. The capital is Pamplona. Yeah, Pamplona. About Navarra. Pamplona internationally is renowned for the running of the balls on its streets during the San Fermin San Fermin San Fermin festival that takes place every month of July Navarra maintained
these artifacts of Valencia. Now we have finished with the regions of Spain, but there are two autonomous cities here on the coast of Africa, and those cities are Ceuta and Melilla, and they are right here, Ceuta. I wish you.